Good evening, parents. A warm welcome. As always, we'll wait for some time so that everybody can log in. Thank you. It's really rained so well today. And then a nice story session with Samruti in the evening. What a lovely way to have an evening. I believe all the kids are excited to see what Samruti auntie's story is going to be today like. We'll wait for some two, three minutes more and then we'll start with our storytelling session. Okay, so as parents are joining it, let me all brief you on Forum for Autism. I believe till now you all know about it, but then this is again for the new parents who are being a part of our storytelling sessions and the other webinars that happen. Forum for Autism is a parent support group. This group was started not less like 20 years old group. It is by the parents of the children with autism. The main aim and goal of FFA is autism awareness, empowering the parents and advocating for the rights of the person with disabilities. Most importantly, also providing financial assistance. Autism awareness has always been a goal for past 20 years and we are still walking towards it and we would like many people to join our hands in it. What work do we do? Yes, it's a vibrant parent body group. We have two libraries, one at Kolaba and at Washi. We conduct parent training workshops and seminars under the current scenario of COVID. We have these webinars which are happening every week. We have a database of parents and professionals who keep us connected because we believe together we stand. Providing sponsorship for unaffording families. Those families who find it difficult to uh, cater to both the academic or the therapy needs of the child, please feel free to contact Priyanka on the numbers which will be coming ahead. Every year, FFA participates in Mumbai Marathon. Uh, we participate in the Dream Run. Uh, we also encourage people to run on behalf of Forum for Autism. Chef Sanjeev Kapoor and Harsha Bogle every year shoulder this responsibility and participate along with FFA and also help us in collecting funds these are some of the glimpses that we had in the past year. This was in the month of March for the parents of adolescents, how to plan. This is a cultural event which was conducted and this is one of my most favorite uh, events. Why? Because our adults, young, oh, there, see, you can see there are small kids who also come out and perform on the streets and they get connected with our adults as well. This is a best place where also we get a chance to interact with people on uh, moving around. This was on the roads of Malad. For Malad Masti, we had it in December. This is a parent to parent where we have a parent who has learned something out of her experiences, is readily sharing her experiences and knowledge with the other parents. Here you can see Changita Chakrapani who had an amazing workshop for us for building self-help skills at home for those children who are on the lower end of the spectrum. 
This is again a workshop which was with intervention strategies for communications. Uh, we'll be soon heading towards one such webinar. Uh, if you want to be a part of our journey or you want to be with us or help us in whatever ways you can, please feel free to connect with us through the mobile number which is provided. This mobile number is where you all can get in touch with Priyanka as well for any facilities that you all want. Email to us. There's a website and also our Facebook page where you'll get all the updates that FFA is doing and the adults on the spectrum are doing. Ask. Ask is an adult support kendra. It is an initiative by Yes Charitable Trust. This support kendra works towards the uh, the needs of the adults and the parents as far as counseling is concerned on any other issues that need to be handled by a professional, maybe clinical or a counseling session. Please feel free to call Munira Pitalwala. Her number is provided on the screen and Priyanka also could be contacted. An appeal for donation. Yes, parents, keeping in mind current scenario. Donations is one way that FFA has always been collecting funds so that we can again provide to the parents and adults on the spectrum. Please spread the word around. If you all can, please donate through United Way Mumbai. All donations that are eligible for tax exemptions are coming up webinars. Looking forward to the last th session on the series that we had on therapeutic by Anjali Joshi. So this one is going to be building therapeutic engagement with the child at home. We are going to discuss various things that you can do with the child at home as which would be transformed into a therapy. So last two uh, sessions we discussed about occupation therapy, sensory integration. This is more of a hand holding as to what is going to happen. And it's going to be really interesting like the past two ones. And not to forget, after the 2nd of August, we'll be heading straight towards 15th of August, where we are celebrating Independence Day. And we're going to have a cultural event by children and young adults. The message of which is gone on all the WhatsApp group. Parents who haven't received it, please, you all have to send your entries of your child. Whatever uh, talent the child may be having, maybe singing, maybe dancing, mimicries, giving a speech, reciting a poem, saying a story. Whatever be it, please send your entries to Priyanka before the 5th of August. So we are going to have a grand evening, afternoon. I believe we, be, we begin from 3 p.m. and we'll be going right till 5. So looking forward for more and more entries. And from here we go on to our today's webinar. Today being the 16th, a storytelling webinar by none other than Sam Auntie. Can I please welcome Sam Auntie? Can't, can't wait to meet her. Samruddhi, can we have you on board? Hey, Sam Aunty. Hi, Darshana. How are you? I'm fine. All excited ah. to meet my wonderful friends out here. Wow, and that so, looks amazing. Hello, children. Yes. Hello there. And look who's here. Oh, it's Goofy. So hello from Sam Aunty and Goofy to you today. But you know something, I am feeling so, so hungry today because Woofy, he ate all my lunch. He didn't leave anything for me. How greedy was that Woofy? Sorry, Sam. Yes. You know what? He just behaved like Mr. Greedy. Who's Mr. Greedy? Sam, who's Mr. Greedy? Oh, you don't know Mr. Greedy. Let me introduce to you Mr. Greedy then. So why don't we do a story with Mr. Greedy? Woohoo! We'll be fun today. So let's do today's story. Mr. Greedy comes around for lunch. The story is by Roger Hargreaves. So children, this is Mr. Greedy's home. And meet Mr. Greedy. So it was a sunny morning. And Mr. Greedy was asleep. He was sleeping. And there was a loud noise. 
Grumble, grumble, grumble. Huh? What sound would that be? Everybody woke up by that sound. Was it the sound of earthquake? Uh, but the house was not shaking. Then what sound it must be? Yes, it was Mr. Greedy's tummy rumbling. The tummy was rumble, rumble, rumble. It was the sound of his tummy rumbling. Mr. Greedy, oh, again he had so much to eat that night that his tummy started rumbling like an earthquake in the morning. But after all, it was Mr. Greedy. Isko kon sudhare? Mr. Greedy always wanted to eat more and more and more. He never ever wanted to share with anyone. Not even his friends or parents or brother or sister. Mr. Greedy would not even share his toys with anyone. How greedy. Oh yes, but after all, he was Mr. Greedy, right? So let's hear the story of Mr. Greedy today. Now Mr. Greedy wakes up. He brushes his teeth. He has bath. And then he goes to do something which he loves doing. That is eating. Yes. So Mr. Greedy goes to have his breakfast. Yes. Though his tummy was rumbling, even then he wanted to go and have breakfast. So Mr. Greedy's mama had uh, four eggs. Okay, let's see what Mr. Greedy's mama had cooked for breakfast. So she had four boiled eggs, two sausages, a loaf of bread, a cheese slice. And Mr. Greedy, though his tummy was rumbling so much, he went and he ate all that food. Mm. He ate the four boiled eggs. Chomp, chomp, chomp. He had the two sausages. One sausage was for Mr. Greedy's sister. But Mr. Greedy ate both the sausages. The loaf of bread was to toast for the whole family. But Mr. Greedy, because he was so greedy, he ate the complete loaf of bread. Chomp, chomp, chomp. How greedy was that? But he finished the breakfast all by himself. And he said to himself, Huh, mm, I had only four eggs and only four, two sausages and only a loaf of bread and only cheese. Bas maine kaha jada khaya. Meter fakta yodas khalla. And Mr. Greedy finished all that. And then he thought, Hmm, let's see. Let me try to go to my friends and see what they have cooked. How greedy was that, right? You finished all the food at home and then you want to go and check what friends have, right? So Mr. Greedy sat in his car and then he went to meet his friend. Mr. Greedy had many wonderful friends. So let's see whom Mr. Greedy goes to meet first. So here he goes in his car. And Mr. Greedy goes to meet his first friend. It was his best friend, Mr. Busy. Right? Now, Mr. Busy. Ha! Mr. Busy was busy all the time going here and there. Working all the time. He had so much work to do that Mr. Busy 
would never have time to eat or to sleep or even to watch a movie mr busy was so so busy i'm so sure children that you have mr busy at home i want you to think who might be mr busy at your home the ones who are always busy the ones who are always running here and there always working and don't have time to even eat watch a movie or even play so mr busy was that kind of friend a busy busy friend yes you said right busy like a busy bee now mr busy was such a good friend and he was so so happy to see mr greedy so he opens the door and says oh hello greedy so nice to see you there What a wonderful morning, Mr. Greedy said. Hello, busy. So nice to come and see you too. What are you doing, busy? Huh, busy. I have some nice, nice aroma coming from your kitchen. Huh, it's smelling so good, busy. Busy said. Oh, greedy! You have just come at the right time. I have made a quick, quick breakfast. You know how busy I am, right? But I have made a quick breakfast, and you're most welcome to have the quick breakfast with me. Well, the greedy ne socha. Arey, abhi to maze hai. अभी तो मिस्टर ग्रीडी के साथ मैं और खाऊंगा सो मिस्टर बिजी ऑफर्ड हिम अ क्विक ब्रेकफास्ट लेट्स सी व्हाट ही हैड फॉर ब्रेकफास्ट सो दिस इज व्हाट मिस्टर ग्रीडी हैड ही हैड बॉइल्ड एग्स ही हैड हैम एंड ही हैड अ लोफ ऑफ ब्रेड and mr busy as you know so busy 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 he said oh greedy you can go and have my breakfast till then let me go and let me do some quick work out there so mr greedy said ah no problem i'll help myself to the table and mr busy went to the kitchen Mr. Greedy goes and he sits at the breakfast table, and children, he eats all the boiled eggs which Mr. Busy has boiled. He eats the whole ham. He eats all the bread. Oh my God! How greedy, right? So Mr. Greedy. Finishes all the breakfast made by Mr. Busy, and he starts. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Chomp. So he says, "Ah, good. But plate me to or bi jaga hai. Me or bi kha sakta hu. Mujhe to or bi chahiye. Bala ani paije." So he says, "I want more and more and more." Ha! Huh. When Mr. Busy comes and he sees, and he sees that his breakfast is being, you know, eaten by Mr. Greedy, and he's finished almost all of his breakfast, and he had no chance to eat anything, not even a single egg. So Mr. Busy. Feels so sad and so annoyed. So, what he does is, he says to Mister Greedy, "Oh, Greedy, how greedy was that? You finished all my breakfast. I don't have anything to eat. It is so empty." But Mister Greedy. Did he even think with his eyes? No. 
was he even go giving him whole body listening no he was not even looking at mr pz because mr greedy did not want to share and he was only thinking about eating more and more and more so mr greedy left again and he went to meet the second friend the children the first friend that he met was mr busy who was busy all the time so then he steps out in his car and he goes to meet his second friend now who is that second friend let's meet mr greedy's second friend his second friend is miss dotty so children meet miss dotty now miss dotty is a very sweet friend she is a kind person and she loves to share with everybody so miss dotty also loves to cook yes just like your mums and a few dads those who cook in the kitchen and who love to cook miss dotty also loves to cook so miss dotty looks at mr greedy and is so happy to see her friend she says hello hi greedy ah what a pleasant morning well greedy you have come at the right time i was just cooking some delicious chicken come on let's have early lunch today ha ah, mr greedy was delighted he started jumping up and down so happy he was right when we feel very happy we try to jump right so he started jumping because he was so happy he started dreaming about eating chicken he said so he said oh so sweet of you dotty would love to have some chicken i'm ready for the early lunch so miss dotty served a very delicious lunch for her friend mr mr children mr yes mr greedy there you are so here is what miss dotty served mr greedy and look how greedily is he eating all that so miss dotty was such a good host she served chicken fish bananas apples cheese mashed potato oh my god a sumptuous meal mm even i am so hungry looking at the dish and miss dotty she tells mr greedy to help himself and she says oh, oh let me go to the kitchen and just get some water for her please help yourself greedy and miss dotty goes to the kitchen here our greedy you know what our greedy does yeah he goes and he eats all the food so he goes he goes Mm. and he eats all the food he eats the complete chicken the fish the apples the cheese and the mashed potato and by the time dotty comes from the kitchen greedy has finished the complete lunch table Oh my god how sad and hungry is she now she feels how ungrateful can greedy be he did not leave anything for me he never ever likes to share 
what can I do of this friend? So she feels very sad. So she says, greedy, you have to stop being so greedy. But, greedy kuna cha iknaar, kis ka sunega, right? Because greedy ko to bas or, 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 more, 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 bas khana hi khana hota hai. So, greedy does not listen. Greedy says, uh, bye daddy, uh, I think I got to leave now. And then, Mr. Greedy goes again, sits in his car and goes to meet the next friend. So children, now we know the first friend that Mr. Greedy met was Mr. Busy. The second friend which Mr. Greedy met was Miss Dot. Yes, Dotty. And now he is going to meet a third friend. So goes Mr. Greedy in his car again. So he goes. Rings the bell. Ring, 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 ring. But he's waiting for his friend to open the door. So, how to meet Miss Pickle? This is Miss Pickle, isn't she so so cute with her two plaits, right? So she opens the door. She sees Mr. Greedy and she's delighted to see him. So she says, Ah, oh, hi, Greedy. Oh, it is so, so nice to see you. Please come inside. And Greedy goes inside the house. So Miss Fickle always uh, sort of confused, okay, to do this or that. So that day, she decides to again make a quick lunch for herself. And because Mr. Greedy comes so late during lunch time, and because Miss Fickle is so, so kind and always likes to share with her friends, she says, oh, Hi, Greedy, why don't you come and uh, help yourself? Let's share lunch together. Ha! Huh. That is exactly what Greedy wanted to hear. Hmm. He does. He says, Oh, if you insist, okay, let me come and have lunch with you. So, she goes and she serves lunch for Mr. Greedy. And today, what a surprise! Miss Pickle has in fact cooked some delicious lunch. How lucky is Mr. Greedy, right? So, Miss Pickle has chicken, boiled eggs, loaf of bread and spinach for lunch. So she says, come here, help yourself. I have lots of lunch today. I can share it with you. Mr. Greedy says, okay, I'll help myself. And he goes, he goes and he sits in the lunch table. But before Miss Fickle could even grab anything, he says, oh, Fickle, could you get some water for me, please? Uh, Fickle says, ah, yes, let me. And then she goes inside the kitchen. And by that time, greedy, as he is so greedy, greedy, he goes and he eats everything. He eats the chicken. He eats the spinach. He eats the eggs. Mm. And his fat, fat tummy is filled with the bread. So he finishes all the lunch that Miss Pickle 
has cooked for that day. Right, I know what you're thinking. Poor Miss Pickle, right? So when she comes and she looks, ah, empty table. And she can't believe herself. She thinks, oh my God, how could he finish all my lunch? And before she could say anything, Mr. Greedy has already left. And now Mr. Greedy goes to meet another friend. So there he goes in his car again, really fast this time. Let's see whom Mr. Greedy goes to meet next. So, friends, Mr. Greedy has already met Mr. Peasy, then Miss Dotty, Miss Pickle, and now he goes to meet a really special friend who is different. He is Mr. Nonsense. Yes, you heard me right, Mr. Nonsense. So, Mr. Nonsense is such a happy go lucky friend. And he's all the time so happy, always thinking something different. And he's so full of fun. He greets Mr. Greedy. Ah, oh, hi, Greedy. So nice to see you today. Mr. Greedy goes and Mr. Nonsense says, I was planning to have a quick supper. Would you like to join me, Greedy? Mr. Greedy says, Oh, uh, why not? Nonsense. I'll definitely like to eat something. I won't eat much, but I guess I could just help myself with a little sandwich, maybe. So, nonsense says, oh yes, greedy. I'll make a quick supper for you. And let's see what Mr. Nonsense made. So children, Mr. Nonsense has this wonderful supper ready for Mr. Greedy. And what is that? Oh yes, that is a ice cream with inside a sandwich, mustard over the bananas, a jelly soup and carrot milkshake and spinach with sausages. Can you imagine? Yes, but that was Mr. Nonsense. He loved to eat all ulta pulta, right? So, when Mr. Greedy saw the ice cream sandwich, imagine a cold ice cream inside a sandwich. Mm. And he saw the jelly soup. Jelly was his favorite dessert. So he said, hmm, I want to go and I want to finish. Mr. Greedy, before Mr. Nonsense could come, goes and finishes all his supper. And when Mr. Nonsense comes, he's not left with anything to eat. Again, he is so, so angry and so, so upset with Greedy. But what can he do before he could say anything? You know what Mr. Greedy does, right? Yes, you're very right. He sits in his car and he goes home again. Now, all the four friends, they decide to have a meeting. Okay? So, all his four friends decide to meet. And they decide well, let's teach Greedy a lesson. He always eats everything by himself. And he never ever likes to share anything with us. So they decide that isko aadham maza chakhate hai. And they say, what can we do to teach Mr. Greedy a lesson? So that he learns to share with friends. So Mr. Busy has a great idea. He says, oh, idea. I think let's have lunch at my house tomorrow and let's see 
how we could teach Mr. Greedy to share his food. They all agree to that. And they all set up a plan. A plan for a different kind of a lunch party for Mr. Greedy. So here they all have gathered. Okay. And then comes Mr. Greedy. So Mr. Greedy comes there for the lunch party that Mr. BZ has hosted. So all the friends are here together. Now let's see what happens. So what Mr. BZ does is he serves a plate and he gives an empty plate. Can you see that? It's an empty plate. So he keeps an empty plate and an empty bowl. And he says, come on, here you go, greedy, help yourself. And he gives an empty plate to greedy. Now, look at it. Mr. Greedy is all here with an empty plate. So, they say, oh, help yourself, greedy. Now, Miss Pickle, she goes and she, she says, oh, have a cheese slice. Here, have a cheese slice. And she pours, but from an empty packet. There's actually nothing in the packet. Then Miss Dotty says, oh, have some peas. And she pours. A packet of empty, no peas inside, right? Then nonsense says, oh, have some chips, greedy. Why are you so shy? Have some chips. And he pours empty chips packet onto his plate. And they all start pretending as if they are eating something. But... They, are they really eating? No. They are only imagining to be eating. And what they do is, they pretend to be eating. So let me show you children how they pretend to be eating. So here is an empty bowl. Here is a spoon. And there is nothing inside. But the friends pretend as though they are having a cheese slice, chip, peas. And here they go. Mmm. Mmm. Ah, delicious. So when Mr. BZ sees everybody enjoying the meal, he thinks to himself, Are, plate mein mujhe kuch dikhai kyo nahi de rahe? Mala kai disat ka nahi hai plate made. Why? Why is my plate empty? But uh, my friends seem to be eating everything. Uh, am I dreaming? Or am I just... Uh, so hungry that I can't see any food. But because he sees all the friends pretending to be eating and he does not know that they are pretending, he also starts pretending. So children, let's pretend to eat like the four friends. Mm. Mm. You all can pretend sitting on the chair. Mm. Mm. Let me have a cheese slice. Huh? Mm. So the four friends pretend to be eating. And Mr. BZ or uh, Mr. Greedy also pretends. And finally he says, thank you BZ for such a wonderful lunch. And then he goes home. He goes home and he starts thinking. Oh, uh, well, I am feeling so, so hungry now. I actually didn't eat anything today for lunch. So what he does is he starts searching for jars, but he does not get anything at home. So finally, he ends up eating only a crumb, just a crumb. And he goes to sleep. But children, that night, Mr. Greedy, in fact, sleeps so peacefully and so well. And he dreams of mountains of chocolate. 
and rivers of custard because that day he is not had too much to eat and his tummy is quite empty he gets a good good sleep and mr greedy finally learns to share he knows that if he shares with his friends and family he can sleep very peacefully without any rumble 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 so the story is over for today and woofy would you now share with me oh, oh. yes sam i i uh, i share with you i don't want my tummy to rumble rumble thank you woofy finally so bye bye children see you next time till then love you all hey that was an amazing story thank you i am yes i am already hungry and who all is going to share with me today's dinner well do you want to imagine then here darshana goes uh have some uh, have a bowl of ice cream darshana here oh, you wow come. the ice cream is yummy who else is imagining eating ice cream i am eating chocolate ice cream yum mm. is everybody eating ice cream out there you bet Children? wow that was really really fun i can't just get over it bahut maza aaya bahut zyada maza aaya thank you itni sari cheeze kha li humne ha kafi sari cheeze yes aur uh, darshana aunty pata hai hum kya kar sakte hain kya we could you know uh, do a pretend kind of a lunch party with our parents or our brothers or sister and we could all get empty plates and we could uh, i could act like mr greedy you can act like miss dotty and we could have uh, we could imagine a party right yes we can do that yeah well today for dinner also everybody can be one one yes hai na everybody in the house can be dotty can be mr busy but nobody is going to be mr greedy uh oh yes. yes we are all going to share the dinner today right guys Wow that was really really very nice it was amazing to see these characters uh all i would request if uh, any parent now wants to share um if their children want to say something i would love uh, if any child for any of the story sessions end of the session i would absolutely love if any child would like to say something yeah if like, character of yeah. which character yeah. if if parents just could manage to put their uh, child yes just put your hands up raise and if the child is ready to say ki which character was the favorite and what so we would love to listen to that anybody wants to do it you could raise your hands okay we have preeti chib uh, 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 okay preeti i'm going to allow you to talk for just for some time but then i want your son to speak or the daughter to speak about what she felt or he felt about the story Yes Preeti you need to unmute yourself and your child could speak Preeti you're there Hello hello yes hi hi can you hear us now yes yeah. yes we can what Ryan, you... can you please tell uh, what was your favorite character Mr Nonsense oh, oh. lovely uh, ryan right yeah yeah okay ryan that was wonderful to hear from you mr nonsense so much fun isn't it why was he your favorite why was nonsense your favorite what did you <laughs> he had a funny name he had a funny name oh. and you know what i like the ice cream sandwich and that's why i liked him <laughs> <laughs> don't yeah. you think that ice cream sandwich would be fun yeah and can, can you tell, <laughs> and can you tell the moral of the story oh wow yeah well now uh, you have to share yes oh that's nice. what happens after you share what happens after you share you feel good you feel good i love that you made me feel good dear absolutely thank me you, too thank you thank you thank you dear thank you preeti thank you darshan look 
Mr. Ryan, Mr. Nonsense is elated. He's so happy to hear. And okay, we have we've got we the watch for the day. Thank Athar, you, Samruti. Yeah, bye. You're most bye. welcome. And thanks, Ryan and Preeti. Atharva, I think there is Atharva Mansuk who wants to talk. Okay, oh, Atharva. Wonderful. Yeah. Say hi, Atharva. Be hi. Hi, hi Atharva. Hi. 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 What did you like, Atharva, in the story? Whom did you like? Yeah. It's okay. I liked Mr. Busy. Mr. Busy Busy. Whom did you like? Like Busy? No, that Ruth liked. Okay. He's very shy. <laughs> it's all right. Bye, Atharva. Nice talking to you, dear. Bye. Bye. Atharva, thank you for saying hi to us. So happy to hear from you, Atharva. Mm, there is only one person, KJ, this last parent who's going to talk to us. Okay. KJ, would you like to share something? No, I don't think so. They are around. Fine. So that's it. So that's all the children that we had to say. Great. So Samruti, I think we will wait yes. for the next week for the next story. Okay, there's some yeah. people talking about ice creams and chocolates and deserts. Yes, and there are many parents who asked if we could have stories in Hindi and Marathi separately we will surely try something like that oh, maybe sure. we could try with the hindi thing because many kids understand hindi around the way yeah yeah sure so I, could, next, I could uh, i could yeah. have a story especially in hindi once so next, maybe in marathi once if, yeah know, so next story that. could we have it in hindi let's try doing it let's give it a try right yeah. yes great okay so okay everybody have a good night share your dinner sleep well and Thank have you. a great week and see you all on the 15th of August to celebrate the Independence Day. Participate in the cultural event, guys. Bye-bye. Bye, -bye. Bye Sam. Bye, Mr. Bye. Greedy. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye.